morning. It is Saturday, October 1st, 2022. It is 6.30 a.m. in my locale, and it is about 73 degrees. Yes, I know there was no video yesterday, and let's explain why before we get into everything. Okay. As you know, I was evacuated to, or told to evacuate to a an RV park about an hour away from where I work. And so we are still there. Yesterday, it became, or the day before, and yesterday, it became, you will be able to return to yesterday. So I packed up, didn't take long. I was getting ready to take the water line out. And my boss, my business manager boss comes out and says, wait, stop. We just got another message. There was a miscommunication from the National Park Service. You can come back. You can't come back. Miscommunication. I smell, with my air quotes, bullshit. So, somebody's liability kind of gave out. Somewhere the insurance rider went, eh, it's going to cost too much. So we all had to stay here yesterday. So I had to take everything out. I, Since I was already 99% ready to go, Brought everything together, talked to a couple people. They didn't want to go over to town, which is now, I'm in town, so it's like three miles away. I, so I said, let's roll the wheels. So I rolled wheels, and I went to the grocery store and did my standard every two-week grocery shopping type of thing. And then brought it right back here and started to unpack and do all my stuff. And then after that, we sat and talked for a little bit. A couple of people from work, making sure things were going right. And I made sure everybody had what they needed. Are you good? Yeah, you good? Yeah, okay. Do you need this? No, yes. And we took care of all the group that were here. And then I fed queso and went to bed. And that was yesterday. That's why there was no video. But today there's a video. And we are fine. We are still at the Southern Comfort RV Center in Florida City, Florida. And they are very nice to us. We went and explained to them yesterday what was happening. Myself and my business manager. And they instead of making us pay for the whole weekend, which is what they usually do, they are letting us do day by day. So if we don't hear by like three, even though checkout's at noon, they'll let us wait till like three, three thirty in the afternoon if, to see if we hear something. And then if we pay for that additional day, like today I'm, it's Saturday, I'm paid up until Friday. So I can go in on at three o'clock this afternoon and say, I need today. They will let me pay for today. And then tomorrow the clock starts again. Uh, what other good news do we have? Oh, No long hair in the back. No hair sticking out the sides. I got a haircut. So I do that once every three or four months just for giggling purposes. Okay, so let's talk. Let's go to our Daily Zen poem. If you think that you have cut off illusory mind instead of simply clarifying how illusory mind melts, illusory mind will come up again as though you had cut the stem of a blade of grass and left the root alive. Mehen Zuhio, 1682-1769. Okay. Has nothing to do with what I was going to talk about today, but not bad. Not, not bad at all. If you've cut it, if you shut it down instead of... Let's explain this. If you just cut it off. Oh, I didn't see that. No, no. Instead of fixing it, it's a problem just comes back again. And again, and again, and again. Welcome to society in 2022. We tolerate. It's okay. It's a lifestyle choice. Nobody picks their god blessed hands up, punches these children in the mouth, and says, Go home. That's wrong. Get it off my lawn. If we clarify it and say, No, that's not right. This is, this is the way we're all supposed to be doing things. Minor variations in theme. What you're doing is harmful, foolish, and you're having a tantrum, and it's we're well beyond the time of explaining. These are the children of time out. These are the children of the anti-bullying campaign. These are the children of the, it's a lifestyle choice. We have to tolerate all things. Because these are the children of that. These are the people of Rome that could not defend themselves and let all sorts of debauchery run as Nero 
did what he did. These are the people of Athens who said, we have to respect everyone in the city-state, and you can be a member too if you... While the Spartans turned around and trampled them. When the barbarians came for Rome, I'm sure somebody at that gate, when Alaric the Lesser pounded on it, said, Wait! Let's see what he has to say. Maybe he'll... And they killed him and ran right over his cold dead corpse and sacked Rome. That's what this poem is saying. Stop tolerating the nonsense around you. Today's talk was going to be about patience, and I think my patience is a little blown. You will get what you accept. That's going to be my new message of the day. You will get what you accept. If you accept garbage, you will get garbage. If somebody is spouting nonsense around you, you don't have to be a jerk. Just go, no, that's wrong. That's stupid. It's foolish. And so are you. Turn around and walk away. Don't entertain another second of their voice. Just walk away. Leave them crying alone. They will eventually... One of two things will happen. Somebody will cover their butts, and then they'll be first against the wall. Or they will wake up, and they will realize how reality actually functions. In either event, you're not their mommy, you're not their daddy, you're not their teacher, you're not their boss. They're just walking garbage. Turn around, walk away. Now, on happier note, let's go to our daily Zen poll. We did our poem. Let's do our rune poll. Burkana. Well, technically, it's for you. It's backwards. But it's Burkana. It's the rune of growth. I think we've seen this one before. Hey, man. Okay. Try to book the right way, Mr. Hoff. It helps if you do that. It makes it easier to read. Yeah, we've gotten this one. Uh, form of fertility that fosters growth symbolically and actually. It occurs in the affairs of the world, divine matters, when relation to yourself and the divine. A blossoming and ripening, the flow of beings into their new forms. It's gentle, penetrating, and pervasive. Go forward to things deeply with care and awareness. You remember this. Be clear and controlled in your motives correct. Clean those dark corners and get expert help if you need it. Modesty, patience, fairness, and generosity are called for here. Today's talk was going to be on patience. Once resistance is dispersed and rectification carried out in the whole form, through steadfast and right attitude, the blasphemy can occur. Okay. So. Backwards to our obligatory case overview. I know I'm waking you up. Anything? There you go. Back, back to it, buddy. So let's go back to my original conversation here. It was about patience. You know, all this stuff with, with me right now, with the NPS, and it's like, get your acts together. And I don't think there was a miscommunication. I think somebody pulled the trigger too early. Or I think somebody said, well, the Park Service cleared our site, so we can go back now. And then the NPS said, no, you, we're clearing your site. We're just not, we're not letting anybody in yet. They didn't hear it from somebody, or somebody changed their mind, or who the hell knows. Rather than get upset, and we had some upset people here. Okay? Rather than get upset, my answer was, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is a government agency. It's built on being non-functional at our expense. Until such time as we can get rid of non-functional entities at our expense, we have to be patient with this. What can you do today? What can I do today? Uh, grocery, haircut, uh, roll the wheels on this, uh, clean inside, maybe do a little rearranging outside. Who knows what I can do today? But make today useful. And take care of those other people who seem to be so upset that are going to be, you know, our colleagues. And, you know, you don't want angry people walking around you while you're trying to get your work done if you have to do work. So 
that was my patience yesterday. It was instead of getting angry, it was keeping other people from getting angry. We're working on resolving it. We're doing what we need to do. I'm working with my business manager. We're trying to resolve this issue as fast as possible. Let's all be patient. Let's everybody check. Does everybody have potty? Yeah. Do they have water? Yeah. Okay. We found out we can't dump our sewer, our, our black tanks or our gray tanks here because their sewer is backed up. And I'm not sure whether it's the hurricane or it's their system. I'm, I'm just not sure. So we told them that was okay. So we have a shower area. We have a potty area. We can use mine's really close. I walk across the street. And we're all fine with this. And they're going to have to, these other people are going to have to be fine with this too. So we're going to help them to the best of our ability. I heard something outside. We're going to have to help them to the best of our ability to not get angry. And we still have new employees that are coming in that are going, that are here now and they can't even go to work. They can't even get started. They, they can't even have their orientation. Be patient. You know, we'll, we'll, it'll all get worked out. And what doesn't get worked out, well, guess what? We've all learned the more you constrain people, the quicker they adapt and the more inventive they become. So, if that doorway is blocked, you know, if you have common sense and critical thinking, you will be able to navigate through that in a way that is effective for you. No reason to scream, no reason to cry, no reason to yell. Just go, you know what? Got it. You're on your own. You know, that's the one thing I was watching uh, Pinball Preparedness this morning who said, we're on our own here. You know, Travis from um, American, not American Homestead, um, Prepared Homestead said the same thing. Same message. We are on our own. You know, Everything seems to be imploding now, and it's the beginning of the, oh, everybody, oh, it's the beginning of the fourth quarter. No, we're already toast. We just haven't woken up and smelled the coffee and the rest of breakfast yet, because there is no breakfast. They gave it away to other people while we starved. So get patient. Don't get angry. Get inventive. See what you can do today. To make it better for you. What little you can do. Is. Not a bad thing. If all you can do today. Is all you have the strength to do. Is clean your kitchen drawers. And get rid of some stuff you don't use. It's a step ahead. It's a step be, that you did, hadn't taken before. Be patient. And most importantly be patient with you. You know what you can do. And what you can't do. You know what you're capable of, and then you find out you were actually capable of more than that. Be patient with you as well. Okay? Do not be patient with the fools on your front lawn. Do not be patient with the person trying to steal your purse. Do not be tolerant of those. That is not patience. That's when you get pathological. Oh, I'm sorry, you poor thing. Take my wallet. No, this is not hug your mugger week. That is not patience. Let's be clear and open about that to each other. And on that note, I'm going to probably get up, wash the counter over here, okay, because I'm doing some cooking. And then I'm going to take that next step forward. And we're going to see if I can return to the Everglades today. If not, well, then we're going to get as much as we can get done here today. It's supposed to be nice out, 85 degrees and sunny. You know, maybe the answer is... Today I open all the hatches in the back. I take everything out. Maybe we sweep it out. You know, make sure it's clean and dry. And we put things back in in a more organized fashion if that's what we choose to do. But for certainties, you know, we're going to get something done today. Just like we got something done yesterday. While we had to wait for uh, the bureaucracy to roll. Actually, I'm not going to say I will take that term back. It is not bureaucracy anymore. It's cockistocracy. And if you don't know what that word is, please look it up and then be shocked and then smile. Have a good day. Be patient. Get something done today. You can do more than you think. I'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.